good death would be a thankful death, a death in which we can look back and thank God for what we have had. You can only face your impending death with peace and joy if your death comes at the end of a life well lived. To die well at this or any other time, I suggest, requires a life well lived. Dying well begins with addressing the reality of death when we are still in the full flow of life. And death is part of life. It's an essential part of life. We're all going to die um, at one time or another. And it isn't up to us to control it. It's, uh, life is, is, is a gift to be received, not to be hung on to. When we find that new story that helps us define ourselves, even in the midst of death, then we don't have to fear death. We don't need to look forward to it, but we don't need to fear it. And we're always in the presence of God, because he's at the core of our being, holding us in existence. As St. Augustine said, closer to me than I am to myself. So when we die, we shall see the face of the one who's always been with us, whatever we've lived, however lonely we felt.